Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video I want to explain to you why I think that Europe and especially the Netherlands needs Islam. The reason why I am saying this is because I reverted to Islam over one year ago and I've seen huge changes in my life since I reverted to Islam. So let me explain in this video why I think that we need Islam. I am Dutch living in the Netherlands and the Netherlands is one of the richest countries in the world. It has an amazing healthcare system and the economy is going well. So what's the reason that I want to tell you that we need Islam in this country? Well, everybody can have actually a good life already in the Netherlands. The first reason is because the Netherlands is a good country to live in. However, the Netherlands is also on the top of the countries in Europe with the most people with depression. The majority of the citizens in the Netherlands are nowadays atheists in the Netherlands and I've experienced this by myself. There is always a lot of pressure on our shoulders since the day that we are going to school. We have to have great results in school because this is the way to success. So every day it's like a competition with the rest who has the best results and who is the best student at school. They say you can make or break your life and if you are not getting good results at school then a lot of people are blaming themselves and becoming depressed unfortunately and there is not only a competition with the results that you get at school but even a competition within the group of friends that you have who has the most beautiful or expensive clothes who is using the best makeup who has the most and the most popular friends for example all of this is a big competition between each other and if you are different or slightly different than the rest then there is a huge chance that you get bullied as well and because there is not a straight way that you can follow everybody is kind of lost and are just doing what are the trends of that time and what is popular in that time and it can be changed within a few years totally do to another direction um so it is just if you fit in the society in that time. Also, a lot of people are a lot on their own. So there is a lot of loneliness in the Netherlands. A lot of people feel very lonely. And that is because on average, the people in the Netherlands are more focused on their self and are living by following their own plan. So if you want to see your friends, for example, in the Netherlands, it is more than normal that you have to make an appointment. Okay we can make an appointment after for example one week or after two weeks and then I have like two or three hours the time for you also when we are for example eating together in a restaurant with friends most of the time the Dutch people are separating the bill and they are exactly paying for what they have ordered and not a cent extra because we are here in the Netherlands very focused on receiving success by having as much money as we possibly can by having a good job by having for example great results at school and I'm not saying that that's a bad way of living because these are definitely very important goals also that you want to receive what makes it possible to have a good life and to build your life obviously however the downside of this is that there is only one way and the way is like this and if you are not fitting in this society or in the way how you can become successful then um, a lot of people they are getting depressed and for a lot of people the pressure is simply too high so it is a little bit out of balance. You can see it back in the statistics in the Netherlands. We hear all the time that the psychologists are full because there are so many people who have that need to talk with a professional to solve their problems. Also in the Netherlands it is very normal to have a lot of relationships, like to have a lot of boyfriends and girlfriends and also this leads many times to depression because it really hurts some people but this is another part of being successful here in the Netherlands is to have a relationship and I believe that that brings more bad than good things in your life especially when you are very young and I believe also that haram relationships 
are giving a lot of insecurity and this can actually also lead uh, to bad results at school for example because girls and boys especially when they are younger they go to school and they are looking for relationships for example at school instead of studying there so the reason why i think that we need islam is because for allah there is no competition in allah's eyes we are all worthy we are all creations of allah and sometimes allah will give you the success in an unexpected way so maybe for you you are failing in a way how others are successful but maybe later in life you will get the success in another way that Allah is giving it to you. Besides that there is a very clear way that you can follow and if you read the Quran and you are Muslim you will understand what is the best way of living and this will lead you definitely to be more happy and it will make your life more easy. So Allah doesn't let us feel guilty because we are all precious in the eyes of Allah, we are all his creation and Allah will always be here with us no matter in what kind of situation you are. And if you read the Quran and you are Muslim, you will understand that this life is not a competition to be successful in the way of how much money you are making or how successful you are in the eyes of the other people. In Islam, it is important that we are following the guidelines of the religion and that we worship Allah and that we are following the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and if you are following Islam then you will definitely see the difference and you will see that your life becomes more easy and more simple and in that way you can enjoy life more and enjoy and love all the creations of Allah and also it will give you hope for the future because you never know what Allah has written for you because the creation of Allah this world is so beautiful and it's definitely worth it to enjoy everything and to not follow the rest of the people what they want from you because that suddenly becomes not important anymore since you are becoming a Muslim and you believe in Allah one of the reasons why Dutch people need Islam is because in Islam it is very important to be generous to other people, especially to your neighbors, your friends and your family and to the poor people. So this will fight definitely in loneliness in the Netherlands because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was always generous and this will soften our hearts and we know that we will get good deeds for sharing with the others so this can fix definitely loneliness in the Netherlands also brotherhood is very important in Islam it is very important to be good also in your behavior towards others it is not allowed to use bad words towards others and you always have to be respectful another reason why I think that we need Islam is because Islam is for everyone. A lot of people believe that if you are white or if you are not Arab, you cannot be a Muslim. But it is definitely not like this. Also, if you are not speaking Arabic, it doesn't matter what your skin color is, what your race is, where you are coming from, what's your culture or what is your past, everybody can become a Muslim. And that is the beauty of Islam. There is absolutely no racism in Islam. And the last reason is when we become Muslim, we are going to understand what is the purpose of this life. A lot of people, they are also not happy in this life because they are not really understanding why they are here and what is their purpose. Because you see, everything in the world has a purpose. If you look at nature, if you look at the items in your home, for example, everything has a purpose. And in many cases, one cannot live without the other or something cannot be done without that other thing. But what is actually our purpose as a human? Many people are asking themselves this question and they got so confused because they really don't know the answer for this. And this can lead to feeling not worthy or maybe you're going to not take good care about yourself because you think that you are not important. So Allah says to us in the Quran the reason that we are existing is to worship Allah. So this is what Allah wanted and he wanted you to be here on this earth. And that is very important to understand because if you are not 
really understanding why you are here in this life and you can feel like there is no end but we know as muslims that there is another life after this life and our goal is obviously to go to heaven so even if your life is not how you really want it on this earth in this life you know that you are still working to go to the next life and that is like a light at the end of the tunnel and that is also something what gives us motivation and what gives us hope and what can take a lot of pressure from our shoulders because not everything has to be perfect in this life actually nothing is perfect in this life only in the next life everything will be perfect and everyone will be happy inshallah another reason is also that we don't have to change our culture there are a lot of people who think after you become Muslim that you have to change the way what you are eating, your whole lifestyle, that you have to change basically everything. But that is not true. You can obviously still keep your culture if it is not something what is haram in the religion. Actually, it is only becoming better because the things that you, for example, cannot eat or drink or do anymore are only things that are harmful for your body. So for example, a lot of Dutch people, they are drinking alcohol, they are eating pork and a lot of people are also smoking and all of that is very harmful for your body. There is obviously no way that you have to change your culture. Actually also in Islam it is said that we have to learn from each other and that we have to love each other's culture and that we can learn so much from each other so being different is a good thing and you don't have to change yourself you don't have to change your personality or your hobbies or what you eat as long as it is not haram obviously i still love to eat some kind of dutch food and i would really not want to live without it i still love my culture i'm still the same person who I was before. So this is something where you were maybe afraid for if you are interested to become Muslim. But you definitely don't have to be afraid for this. That were the main reasons why I think that we need Islam. Islam is good physically, mentally, and I am sure that it will give you so many positive feelings when you are starting to follow the religion of Islam. Of course, not everything is easy. There are also difficult things when you are becoming a Muslim but most of that reasons are only because of the opinions of others what they think about you and as we were talking about before that is actually not important because it is important what Allah is thinking from us and not what the other people are thinking from us if they love it that you are changing and they see that you are doing better and that you are feeling good it is fine it is good they are more than welcome and if they are giving you a lot of negative comments then just remember that their opinion is not important probably they're only thinking like this because there are not a lot of muslims here in the netherlands so maybe that's because they think it is strange for them that you are changing but you are not hurting yourself or hurting anyone so just keep it in your mind if this is what you really want you are doing good and you have to do it for yourself and not for anybody else so if you are interested in islam i definitely recommend you to read about the religion and to try to understand the religion and inshallah it will also give you a lot of positive changes in your life thank you very much for listening let me know what you thought about the video and let me know how is the situation in your country and if you think that Islam can actually solve some problems in your country I would be very interested in that to hear it and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos bye